Welcome to the Football Journal, your ultimate destination for all things football. From transfer news and rumors to match analysis and highlights, we've got you covered. Join us as we dive into the beautiful game, bringing you the latest updates, expert insights, and passionate discussions. Whether you're a die-hard fan or just love the sport, we invite you to join the conversation and share your thoughts on the world of football. Let's kick Tottenham off. Tottenham invest important fee on French winger Wilson Odebert, as he was in the list of several clubs in UK and Italy. 25M fixed fee, £5 million add-ons, and also 10% sell on clause for Burnley. Five-year deal, shirt number 29, and medical also completed in London. Crystal Palace, still pushing to sign Maxence Lacroix and personal terms are agreed. Oliver Glasner really wants him as a possible replacement for Mark Gohai or in addition. Understand the 24Y or O central defender from Wolfsburg is currently their top target for this position. More options behind Lacroix. One of them, Adelan Kasunu. Leverkusen informed that he's on the list, but currently not their priority. No agreement between Wolfsburg and Palace yet. Chelsea and Atletico are keeping contacts active behind the scenes for Joao Felix and Conor Gallagher. Saga remains on, deal intense situation, but not collapsed so far. There's still work needed between clubs to agree after Omarodion Dialov. Joao already said yes to Chelsea. Ten Hag on Xerxy, he's close. In the last months, he had an injury at Bologna. In the end, he made the selection for Netherlands. That meant he was out of our first games in pre-season, so he had no games. That's his problem in this moment. Jude Bellingham signs with Louis V. The future is now. Paul Scholes compares Kabi Mainu to Zinedine Zidane. He's the nearest thing I've seen to Zidane in taking a ball, receiving the ball, cruising past people. The Beau Courtois has not conceded any goals since recovering from injury at Real Madrid. Pep Guardiola on Enzo Maresto. My advice, give him time. If the owners of Chelsea, accept my advice. Give Enzo time, and it will work. All the managers need time. I don't know if Chelsea is the place to do this, but give him time, and he will work. Joe Bellingham has signed new long-term deal at Sunderland until June 2028. He had Crystal Palace and Brentford proposals on the table this summer, but decided to stay at Sunderland. Understand Jadon Sanko's future remains open as things could still happen before the end of the summer window. PSG spoke to players camp in July, but no formal bid sent to Men United while clubs remain in contact for Ogardi. There are also more options. No decision made yet. Zerdan Shakiri has signed in as new FC Basel player after leaving MLS as free agent. Donny Olmo not in Barcelona squad against Valencia tomorrow. Hansi Flick said this. Donny Olmo is still not an option for tomorrow because he just arrived and has had only a few training sessions. He needs to train first in order to be able to help us. Maresca on Asimhen and Joao Felix. I'm not gonna comment on Atleti and Napoli players. The club knows exactly what I think and hopefully before the window shuts we can bring in some more players. Georgia Petrovic is Strasbourg's priority target at goalkeeper. He would arrive on loan from Chelsea, who are also owned by Bluco. Manuel Ogarty, out of PSG squad for their opening League One game. He wants to join Manchester United. Deal never been off. Absolutely on. But it will depend on conditions wanted by PSG. Ogarty has been clear. He wants Man United as soon as possible. Leon Goretzka has been left out of Bayern's squad for today's game even though he's fit to play. Clear indication that he's not in Vincent Kompany's main plans, but the midfielder wants to stay and fight for his place. Hansi Flick on Frankie D. Jong, we don't know when he will be back. He's still injured, and we are waiting. We don't want to rush him. Been told that Jorginho Rudder will undergo his medical with Brighton in the next minutes. All done and sealed between the clubs. £40 million release clause, plus long-term contract. Another promising transfer for Fabian Herzler and Brighton. Bruno Fernandes confirms he had offers to leave United. The club was aware that there was a possibility of me leaving. I had concrete offers, but the club showed that it needed me, that it was at a time of change, and that they wanted to do things differently. Arnslot on Salah, 
Virgil and Trent Alexander-Arnold's contracts, this isn't the place to talk about contract talks. I can assure you they are in the squad tomorrow. Premier League referees will now have to reveal which clubs they support in an attempt to be more transparent towards supporters. Rodri will miss Chelsea vs Man City game, Pep Guardiola has confirmed. He had zero training sessions with us. He's not ready, Pep says. Official? Confirmed. Calvin Phillips joins Ipswich Town from Man City on loan. I want to play as many games as possible, enjoy playing football again, and help the team win as many games as possible in the Premier League. Marcos Alonso would love to join Manchester United. Lenny Euro's medical scan showed a possible metatarsal issue when he joined Manchester United, but they pressed ahead with his signing anyway because they believed the defender would be a top player for the next decade. Thiago Alcantara has left his role as coach at Barcelona. Lazio have signed Boulay Dia from Salernitana on a four-year contract. New deal until June 2029 and number 10 shirt for Keenan Yildiz at Juventus. Plan set to be confirmed. Luis Diaz is not leaving Liverpool despite links with Barcelona and Man City, says Arn Slot. Luis Diaz's future is with us. I like a lot of what I've seen. He has had a big impact. I like him a lot, Slot added. Chelsea remain interested in Victor Osimhen as the option was reactivated weeks ago and talks are still ongoing, but Chelsea informed Napoli that they could proceed on loan in the final days. Osimhen and his camp always been clear, not open to loan or no way to reduce salary. Luka Modric becomes the most decorated player in Real Madrid history with 27 trophies. Legend of the game. The release clause of Eberechi Ease at Crystal Palace expires today, and no club has activated it. Despite interest from several clubs, the clause expires for England winger as Bobby Manzi called. Thanks for watching.